I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, your body is a temple. It's a corny cliche that gets repeated by every self-help YouTuber. But that doesn't mean it's not a fact, so I'ma say it again. Your body is a fucking temple. Treat it as such. Let's say you had to transport extremely valuable resources across the Atlantic Ocean. Would you want to do it on this boat or this boat? The answer to that question is obvious. And what if I raise the stakes even more? What if instead of going on this one trip across the Atlantic, I told you that you were going to spend the entire rest of your life on this boat? Then you'd definitely pick this one. It wouldn't even be a question. So now my question to you is why are you comfortable having a body of this quality when your body is the vessel that carries the extremely valuable resources known as your mind and soul and you're stuck with the body you have for the rest of your life? Right? Like you only get one body. So why the fuck would you allow it to be a piece of shit? Well, the reason why is because it's easy. It's easy to lay around all day eating junk food and doing drugs. But does that mean you should do it? No! There's this phrase in computer coding known as garbage in, garbage out. And I believe the same thing applies to your body. Because if you put garbage into your body, you're gonna end up feeling like garbage. That's why you need to nourish yourself with food that's actually good for you, like salads and fruits. Maybe you could even mix the two together and have a fruit salad. Cause that would be yummy yummy right there. Fruit salad, yummy yummy. Fruit salad, yummy yummy. Fruit salad, yummy yummy. Yummy 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 fruit salad. The point is, try to make healthy choices when it comes to food. Because I promise that eating healthy will make you feel better. But that's not to say you should never eat unhealthy food. Because if you want to have a little bit of ice cream, it's not the end of the world. Unless you're trying to be a swimsuit model. But if you're just a normal person whose personal destiny is not to be a swimsuit model, I would actually encourage you to eat ice cream from time to time. Because what's life without a little bit of ice cream? Dark and depressing. So never feel ashamed if you want to treat yourself and indulge in some good ass food. But remember that moderation is key. And the same can be said for drugs. Because look. I'm not a fucking Puritan, okay? I like to have fun, and drugs are a great way to do that, yo. Like, I'm not ashamed to admit that some of the best moments of my young life have come when I was completely fucked up. Drugs are not that evil, scary thing they teach you about in high school. But there is a time and place for them. You cannot do drugs every day. For obvious reasons. Number one, you're gonna kill yourself doing that shit. Number two, you're not going to be productive at all, so you're going to waste your life away. And if those two reasons aren't good enough to convince you to not do drugs every day, consider the fact that doing them every day takes all the fun out of it. Like, if you drink every day, is drinking a fun activity or is it a daily chore? If you're always high, are you ever actually high or is being high just your new normal? Drugs should be something that you take to enhance your life, not to escape from it. So if you are going to do drugs, make sure you do them for the right reasons and make sure you do them in moderation. Like you really shouldn't be smoking every day, bro. You're not fucking Snoop Dogg. But like I said, you don't have to be a Puritan either. There definitely is a healthy medium where you can enjoy yourself, but also control yourself at the same time. And I believe finding that medium is key. Because while you definitely don't want to become a full-blown drug addict, What's the point of life if you aren't going to get lit as fuck every once in a while? Like I said though, the big thing you have to remember is that moderation is key. So make sure you're taking note of what you put into your body. Never forget that your body is a temple and you are the lone guard of that temple. So guard it like your life depends on it. Because guess what? Your life fucking depends on it. But being the guard of that temple isn't your only job. You're also the maintenance man. Not only do you have to control what goes into your body, but you also have to work on your body every single day to ensure that it stays in peak condition. And there's no shortcut around this. You have to work out. Most people don't work out because they don't have the time and energy for it. But those are bullshit excuses. Because working out doesn't have to take much time and energy at all. 
Similar to what I was saying before about how you don't have to diet like a swimsuit model and you don't have to abstain from drugs like a Puritan, you don't have to work out like you're training to become an Olympic athlete. You just have to work out enough to stay healthy, which isn't much at all. I would recommend going for a two mile jog and doing 100 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats each day. That's not too difficult and it will only take you about 30 to 45 minutes maximum. If you have enough time to watch my stupid YouTube videos, you have enough time to do that. So get the fuck up off the couch and stop being a lazy piece of shit, okay? Like I know it is hard to find motivation to work out, but this is something you need to do. Because our bodies are not meant to sit at a desk all day like a fucking question mark. Our bodies are supposed to move. So even if you don't feel like doing the whole two mile jog, 100 push up setups and squats thing that I recommend, at the very least, get up and go for a walk. Because while a walk may not be as good as a run, it's a whole lot better than sitting on your ass all day. That's the main point. Just don't sit on your ass all day. At the very least, do some kind of workout for a short period of time. It can be something as easy as doing yoga for five minutes. You can't tell me you don't have enough energy to do that. Like, if you don't have enough energy to do that, you need to see a fucking doctor because something is fucking wrong with you. Joe Rogan once said that if you have enough energy to walk to the fridge, you have enough energy to work out. Like, you really don't have to do some crazy intense training program. You just have to do a little something to get your blood pumping. So make sure you put that small amount of effort in because it will be worth it. And if you're ever lacking motivation, just type into YouTube David Goggins and after 5 minutes I guarantee you'll be ready to go. Stay hard! But yeah, I know I've been joking around a lot in this video cause that's kinda my style. I don't like taking things too seriously but don't get it twisted. I'm being very serious when I say you need to take care of your body. Because if you don't, you're gonna die. Although. We all are going to die one day, but you're going to die a lot sooner. And on top of that, you're not going to be able to enjoy your life. Because if you don't take care of your body, you're going to feel like shit all the time, yo. You're going to have no type of energy, and you're going to have no type of confidence. So while you don't have to be a swimsuit model, Puritan, or Olympic athlete, you shouldn't allow yourself to be a piece of shit either. For real though, start treating your body like the temple that it is before it's too late. Anyways though, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Peace.